frustrated and disturbed. That's the sentiment of many people involved in the search for five-year-old Nevaeh Buchanan. Christy Lee is just back from Monroe today. She's live to explain why some people are so upset. Nevaeh's family says they've started noticing her case is getting less news coverage now, and they're afraid people will start to forget about her. Investigators and others involved in her search say it's hard to go this long without any sign of the little girl. Uh, it's bothersome. This type of uh, incident is bothersome to them, myself included. I have grandchildren uh, that age. Monroe County Sheriff Tillman Crutchfield got emotional talking about what it's like to be on Nevaeh's case, but he says the task force is making progress. A third person of interest has been added, James Easter. He was arraigned in court on an unrelated charge this afternoon. And two young boys who were playing with Nevaeh at the Hollywood School playground before she disappeared have been located and questioned. Now police would like to locate a green box style minivan that was parked near dumpsters in the Hollywood School parking lot that day. They're interested in talking to the owner as a witness. We did find and report a van that met that description and was parked in that area this afternoon. No word yet on if this is the one they're looking for. Sheriff Crutchfield says citizen-led searches have also been helpful. Many community members are still meeting at the Kmart on Rose Street to canvas all areas of the county. Everyone involved in the search is not giving up hope to find Nevaeh alive. Of course we'd like to recover Nevaeh. Um, we'd like to recover her safe and well. More than 800 tips have come in, and all leads are being investigated, including one tip saying the little girl had been spotted in Columbus. That's being investigated by the FBI down there. Of course, if you know anything that can help police, call the hotline at 734-243-7070. A nearly $8,000 reward has been set up for any information leading to the arrest and prosecution of the person responsible. Reporting live, Christy Lee, Fox Toledo News, first at four.